Hello, welcome to Mailbox Goodies, First Impressions stuff. Today we are going to look at this. What's this? Oh, <laughs> it's this. This is an ink and it was sent by Fidon Pens in Cambridge, Ontario. Now I have mentioned them before, but this is exclusive to Fidon Pens. It is their Ten, I'm just reading the um, the exact details. I, I know what it is, but I just want to read the label to you. It is Campfire, exclusive to Fidon Pens, 10th anniversary celebration, because this September is their 10-year brick-and-mortar store anniversary, so they have commissioned special inks from Diamine, which is A Leap of Faith, and this one from Robert Oster, which is Campfire. And it looks like the orange glow of a campfire. So, we've got this... I actually really like these bottles. They're very handy, super easy to travel with. 50 mils, which means you can fly with it. And I did a swab and I've got other swabs to compare the color to. And I have some pens inked. So enough chit chat up here. Let's tilt the camera and we will take a look at the ink. But I'll give you some details. You can only purchase it from Fight On Pens. So you have to go to the store or you have to phone them to order it. I know phones are terrifying, at least for me. Um, if you're a phonophobe, phone, phone phobia, but you can order it that way. You can have a Canadian friend hook you up, whatever. And they are $25 a bottle Canadian. So those are the details you need to know. This is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to do mailbox goodies to share it with you. So you can see if you like it before the full review goes up. Okay. Enough chit chat. Let's take a look. Hello, welcome to the writing sample portion of this le video. And we have the Robert Oster Campfire. Now let me just show you. It came in this adorable little bag. So Fight On Pens sources their bags. Um, you know, I, I believe she had mentioned, uh, Mano had mentioned it was her mom who sort gets them for her, like knows where to get them. But anyway, they had these really cute bags. They're reusable. This is adorable. You could put like a couple ink bottles in here for sure. Awesome if you're taking it to a pen meet. But anyway, I really like reusable bags and I prefer this to a plastic bag. Super cute. Also great if you have a birthday gift that fits in here, then you don't have to buy a paper bag for it. So that's really cute. But anyway, let's get on to the ink. This is the ink. I have inked four pens with it and swabbed, so I've actually used up quite a bit already. Oh, I, I timed it really tight because I was throwing it around. So there you go. That's a quick preview of the ink. Now let's close that up. Here's my super nice swab of it. I say super nice, it's really pretty. There you go. It is a like an orange sienna, I would say. Decent shading, well-behaved. I've not had issues with Robert Oster inks. Like they're really well-behaved. They clean out quite easily, especially the lighter ones, like super saturated inks obviously take a little more attention, but this one so far has been quite decent. It does have a little bit of sheen, but it's the same color. It's like a dark orange. So it's not gonna pop off the page which is different to their A Leap of Faith ink from Diamine. So if you're looking for something different, you can go for the sheen or you can go for this color. So there you go on the color. Now I'm just gonna zoom in. Actually, no, I won't zoom in. Let's go through some swabby swabby. We've got Diamine Ochre, Parker Penman Mocha. This is a Kingdom Note Beetle. We've got Giobang Cafe des Iles. Quasi brown number four. Sorry, you know, I'm just gonna move these all out of the way. Blah, blah, blah. Move these out of the way. We've got Giobain Cacao de Brazil. Quasi dark brown. Diamine 150th anniversary espresso. So these dark browns are obviously way darker. So let's start looking into a bit more of the reds and oranges. We've got Quasi El Dorado. Kobe number eight, Arima Amber. Quasi Iron Gall Mandarin, Kobe 21 Taisanji Yellow, Kobe number two Shinkaichi Gold, Quasi Iron Gall Aztec Gold, Robert Oster Gold Antiqua. So far, I have not found one that's an, a match. Quasi Ink Honey, Robert Oster African Gold, Quasi Old Gold, Robert Oster Maroon Mustard. This is a wild ink. 
uh, Quasi Cappuccino, Robert Oster Cafe Crema. We've got Colorverse Voyager 1 Jupiter Flyby, Colorverse Voyager 1 Golden Record. This is getting closer, but this one's still not right. No, still not the same, sorry. Um, let me just, my camera's telling me it's tilted, sorry. We've got Franklin Christoph Honeycomb, and the first ink that came to mind when I thought, hmm, maybe this will be close, is actually SBRE Brown. Now they are not close. So, I don't have any other inks like this. Pretty awesome. So, there you go. Let's do some writing. I have my pens in my knock case. So I inked my Parker Duofold, the Ackerman version. I inked my Pelican M800 Brown Tortoise, my Classic Pens LB5, and there was a fourth pen in here somewhere. My M450 Rolled Gold or Honey, whatever you want to call it. So this will be fun because they all have different nibs. This has a, like a slightly oblique stub. This has my O3B. This is the King Eagle, and this is a steel italic. So let's start with the steel italic just for fun. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And I'm going to turn off one of these lights because I think it's overexposing. There we go. Um... Oh, sorry about that. I um, I stored these upright, which was stupid. That's not an issue with the ink. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to do that. Then we will do the Parker Dual Fold. This paper is the Marmon Nemosign, but it picks up oils super easily. Beautiful shading. I would definitely put this in a broad or italic or something. You can absolutely use this for with fines and mediums. It's going to be totally legible for sure. Sorry, I'm blocking. Now I'm actually looking through the camera, which is horrid. You can tell because my writing has declined significantly. I'm actually just going to move this around so it'll... You can see the writing better. Yeah, sorry for the horrid writing. That's just the way it is. really nice shading. It's interesting because it actually looks more brown to my eye now than the swab. Interesting. And last but not least, the King Eagle. Hello. So it's like an orange brown, but as I mentioned, lots of shading for sure. Let's take a look at that. All right, okay, now before we go, I'm just gonna show you that swab one more time because without the lights on, it's um, it looks a little different to my eyeball. Let's zoom out a little bit, there you go. All right, well, I uh, will wrap it up. I hope this has been sort of fun, kind of useful. Thank you so much to Mano at Fidon Pens for sending this beautiful ink for review and for sharing with you. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, I would be really grateful if you would like and subscribe and you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. 
Thank you guys. We will see you next time. Bye.